Um, but, you know, overall, it's still fine. Gives you a lot of agency in the bot lane, two versus two. Also, you have a lot of independent, uh, independency, I should say, as Zaya just thanks to his way towards mid lane. Caps. Caught out by Vladi. There's the stun as well with the permafrost, and Caps is just dead. Come on, core on the board three minutes in. Great timing for Closer. I mean, a little bit fortunate. It's very that difficult Cap for Casey to kind of find any kind of cross map in this situation. The previous game, the moment the group started, they had a ward on it so they could cross map. But uh, unfortunately for Closer, he had to go back to base, right? After, because that little scuffle in the mid lane. They are trying to find this top angle. Broken Blade doesn't have Dominus. Kana's running out of Megana, though. They've got to pull the trigger now. Wallop goes wide. So does the house. Closer going in. Broken Blade. Stunned up with the permafrost, kind of goes into mini Nar. Tank the tower relatively well with the true shot barrage. Is that enough damage on Closer to stop them? Closer tanks the tower, Broken Blade flashes, Vladdy goes in with the fate sealed as well. Broken Blade still surviving, but in the end, Kana chucks the boomerang into his back and takes the kill. Honestly, you got to feel a little bit for Broken Blade. Barely got anything out of it besides the ultimates, but does a good job. Closer's down. And I guess uh, he buys so much time that he gets the sweep up, so never mind, you take it back. I mean, that was it. Bad back from oh, players yeah. probably League of Legends Esports. Big flip flopper, that yeah. guy. So you know that he is perma spamming both in the chat. Yeah, 100%. Because he's playing both sides. You guys can tag him at Razlol. <laughs> yeah. is his Twitch. Just tag him. Yeah. Might I'm be in the chat. Sure, he's watching. Not. A grub fight beginning here as Jake lands the smite. Locked up though for the second with the Glacial Prison. Vladdy dashing in, Mickey there for the follow-up. Zenith Ooh. Blade, Solar Flare for the summon. Ooh. A great Glacial Fisher from Targamus will keep G2 at bay. And now Vladdy turns his attentions over to Mickey. Broken Blade low. Does have that cold to meet. The Strangle Thorns down. Kana yeets Broken Blade against the wall, but pays for it with his life. Unable to escape the plants. An incredibly tense fight. It ends up being only a single kill. Vladdy, ooh, nice flash from Caps. Vladdy finding a good opportunity there. In a project Mickey like KC, but also for a player like Vladdy to come in under such stressful circumstances like you mentioned, to give him the freedom of play on something like That's a against point. G2. And they've done a great job of playing around yeah. him, right? We're con all the fights that have happened have been in mid lane. <laughs> Supports, junglers, mid laners, they're the primary people involved in a lot of these skirmishes. And uh, so far, they've been going toe to toe. The gold lead ever so slightly in favor of G2, but nothing too significant as G2 will secure the first tower of the game. Maybe gets slowed, uh, yeah. jumps away from the Zenith blade. Cross map still happening though. I think KC are okay with this at the end of the day, though it's 600 gold into Han Sama's back pocket. And into a composition like KC where there's so much dives, are you getting further and further ahead? It's gonna feel a little bit rough, but it's, it's not also quite jungle there camps, yet. right? Like uh, Closer was able to take the Rift Toad, and that's great, but you didn't get pressure on top tower, you weren't pressuring mid tower, you're losing your bot side jungle camps. Closer's now gonna go in and steal away a Razor Beat, but we'll see if the grand exchange is enough. Broken Blade is low in top lane, so maybe Closer will make. A visit up there relatively soon. I mean, Yike has uh, been having a fantastic series. His awareness this game of what he can and can't do on the map has just been spectacular. And he's just been nice. dealing with. <laughs> do you know what on is? I do, actually. Nice. What's that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Google it, mate. All right, I will. P pressure from G2 up towards the top side. They force Vladdy a little bit low. Caps trading with him once again. Vladdy using that shield, D dashing in, flashed away by Caps. Meanwhile, towards the bottom side, Closer's locked up in the Stranglethorns. Targumus puts the Unbreakable down as Upset tries to join the party. And Closer's locked up once again. Yike takes him. And the Andrews burn enough. Upset. Oh, he blasts Targumus back. <laughs> a worthy sacrifice. Targumus falls on his sword as Upset gets away. I mean, there's a world where Targos could have maybe flashed, <laughs> but Offset just kind of looked him in the eyes and said, I'm sorry, as he propelled it into G2. That's two extra kills gained for G2. The thing that was crazy to me was both supports were just tanking so much in that fight. Now, the oh. TP flank. They see so it. Paddy has flash, but he doesn't have fate sealed. Kana's looking for the flank, but he's only got about a tenth of a bar. Is Mininar that threatening? He's trying to build it Rawr. up, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, he is not. Oh, okay. So Yike did a pretty clever thing there, where he spawned plants in the direction yes. that Vladdy was traveling in, and then he just said, "You deal with those." That's the root onto Kana. Yike, no flash. There's the Nam into the wall. Mickey flashing with the Zenith Blade. Yike will fall here, but it's Mickey that gets no, Targamus, sorry, that gets the shutdown. Caps kills off Kana. Meanwhile, Upset just got one v one by Han Summer. Closer trying to get away oh. as well. As Han Summer starts to open up ah. on this Zaya. Now he's on the wrong side of the rift. Closer has to flash. Can Vladdy chase? 
Uh, yes. Vladi has ult. The answer yes. is yes. <laughs> Flash ult. He's dead. Okay, shut down I mean, over to Vladi. But you could look at it from the perspective of Han. Yeah, the bounty got... was collected by Targamus in the last fight. He's building his way up towards the Warmonks, but still quite a way away from it. Upset. Starting to chip away at this top lane tier one. Targum is locked up. Glacial Fisher coming down as well, but only closer there to protect. Kana looking for the flank. Does have the Mega Nar building up. Targum is still alive. Hans Summer coming in from the side. The Narm into the wall as Caps is locked up. Chu Shabu Arch coming out, but Caps will go down. But that goes oh. two in response. For a moment, it looked bright for Carmine Core, but G2 put out the lights. Vladdy dashes forward. Gets the double knockup with the Mortal Steel. Dash is back, still stunned, no flash for him, but he has that Mortal Steel Q3 to jump over the wall. Mickey's still chasing, and with the tier 2 standing there, he calls off the pursuit. I was about to shoot for Casey to deal with. And not to be a negative Nancy, it's great that they ended up finding Caps. Caps not the strong one on G2, man. Like, it really does feel like if you're not finding Yike or you're not finding Hans, the extended fight right now is going to suck. And even as I say that, Caps now has hit two items, so... Again, you're kind of picking a poison on who you're actually finding. I feel like in game one, I think the advantage of the rail was that it was just a secondary engage that could either start the fights or just follow up from the original Sejuani. Really fast. There's a really good window for them to do it. They've got an IM advantage. Well, they had it in the jungle roll. They still got it in mid lane, but they want to utilize this lead to just continue to break down structures with the five drops. How quickly they take down these towers as well. Double AD carry. Caps takes a bit of damage. Kana looking for the flank, but Broken Blade marking him well. Kana will be able to put some damage into the back of the croc, but nothing too consequential as he was building up that Mega Nar bar. The tier two in the mid lane falls. G2 Dude. get there. And then sets them up nicely for a potential Baron contest. Or maybe even just a commitment onto this tier two. Either all a strong option. Summerflare used. Unbreakable does come out from Targamus. TP behind. Counter TP immediately from Broken Blade. Glacial Prison. Hopped by Carmine Core. Enemies get the stun on anyone. Kana marked by Broken Blade. The dash in from Vladdy. The knock back with the Nav. Is it enough? Featherstorm comes out from Hans Summer as Kana is now isolated on the back line of G2. They peel well enough to kill off the Nar, and now perhaps we'll turn their eyes towards the Baron. I feel like we're continuing to see the consequences of the this. The of Casey were immediately retreating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, though, Casey looking for Those the fight. Look for the steal here. Vladdy has no fate steal, but goes in with a soul unbanned. Caps has to flash across the back of the wall. Closer trying to get in. Mickey there with a the shield of Daybreak stun in time. Mickey sacrificed himself for the Baron. His team will escape. Oh my God, still looking for a bit more of a chase. But with the Baron empowered recalls, I think G2 will get four members out. Looks like it. Good Baron from G2. Ultimately, they delayed it to allow Caps to be able to base TP back in. He went for a bit of a trade, and that meant that Casey had this window to be able to fight it. Unfortunately, they couldn't quite get into the pit. There wasn't an opportunity for them to try for that steal. And so they will be able to take a Consolation turret, but now with the Baron and Dragon spawning in about 20 seconds, they need to quickly regroup, reset. Bit, whether back. it's been closer and bloody together, or Kana finding a good angle, but again, no follow-up. The lack of damage we've already seen is now just going to be accentuated by this. Vladi hovering around still. Hasn't quite secured level 16. He's very close to that level up as Broken Blade being given time closer though with a nice angle. Mickey jumps in. Glacial Prison onto Hunt Summer. He cleanses away. Strangle Thorns, the Nar for Mickey against the wall. Now he flashes. TP coming in. The Solar Flare only finds the slows as Karna now needs to try and retreat. He'll get some movement speed from going into Mini and gets away. G2 though. Still have a cannon minion to push it down this tier 2 whip. All right, G2 kept the objective they came for. 90 seconds until the Baron, so likely just reset here, spend whatever gold they found throughout this push. Kana might, I think, should actually. Yeah, that get would be this a, tier nice, a nice little objective to get some gold back for the team at the very least. Baron in a minute's time, so resets need to come through for both teams. So maybe they're just hiding around the corner. Broken Blade now steps forward. Caps was towards the bottom side. We only know that because Kana spotted him out with a scry as Bloom. Yike and Mickey looking oh. forward. Upset has to pop the claims. The true shot barrage. Targamus tanks it with the unbreakable. Glacial Fisher going down as well, but it's Mickey and Broken Blade on the front line. The face sealed onto the back line though is beautiful, but Vladdy just doesn't have the damage to follow up. And now G2 have split Carmine Core into two separate groups. Yike is down. Mickey stepping forward. Hans Summer going to put the damage down onto Targamus. Another Void Seeker from long range. Targamus should fall here. Closer trying to get away. Targamus puts the Winter's Bite onto Hans Summer, but still. Hard escape, two for one so far, the trade. Mickey coming in. Oh, it's kind of going to get away! Oh, <laughs> Cap spots him! It was blind into the bush, but where else would he be backing? 
as Kana falls, and now G2 can turn their eyes towards the big purple worm. Definitely an awkward fight, but ultimately one that is won by G2. Oh, he could have flashed in if he still had it, but times out, upset, great little assassination onto Yike, and a good escape from the backline, but at that point when there's no follow-up on all of the work Vladi was putting down, just simply because G2 are so strong in the front line, fight falls apart. Camps no flash, Yike no flash. TP behind as Carmine caught. Look to take the fight in the bottom side. Mickey tanking up the Elder for now, but does have that war with Mox. Targamus puts the Unbreakable down to stop the True Shot Barrage. The Baron buff empowering these minions for G2. The Void Seeker going wide there from Upset. Fate Seal, Glacial Prison, still possibilities. Hans Summer has Cleanse and Flash and Feather Storm. He has everything he needs if he's the one caught out. Vladdy. Three plants go down. Vladdy looking for the flank. Puts Control Ward into the bush. But now the Elder down to 7,000. Can Closer get in? He's already down to half HP. He tries to dash in, but he can't land the smite. Yike gets this one. The solar player goes down as Kana goes in, but the GA only buys him a second. It's two for Yike already. It's three for G2, and the chase continues. Make it four alongside the Elder, the Baron, for the next two minutes. G2 are just too far ahead, and again, Vladdy, honestly, good work. Onto the back line. Great Olamut, great Q3. But there's just not enough follow-up from KC, and it's not their fault, it's just G2 defending their ground really aggressively. And now with the Elder, with the Baron, with the Soul, they're looking to close out this Series 2-0. Ultimately, a commanding Game 2 from G2, rectifying the issues from Game 1 and cementing their superiority over KC. They're looking to end it in a clean 2-0. Targumus goes forward, the last brick in a lonely blue wall has fallen. G2 will clean up the series. Carmichael have hope, but they'll have to work their way through the lower bracket.